me share with you a basic approach to developing a flexo press maintenance schedule. Okay, folks? Um, and as we go through this, the thing I want you to just conceptualize is that we want to start very simple. When you start to develop a form of any type, be it a checklist for an operation, for a job setup, or a press maintenance schedule, anything like that, when we think about all of the things that need to be put on that form, it can really be overwhelming, okay? So what I'd like to do is to introduce new forms into our process and evolve them and refine them continually over time so that you arrive at a better form. To start off with anything, even one check to do is better than where you are now if it's nothing. So when you start on this process, please just take it easy, start simple, and you know, don't think about where you're going to end up too soon because it could be overwhelming and it'll, it might keep you from doing it in the first place. The forms will become more sophisticated and I'll, and I'll go through some examples and uh, you'll continually evolve it, okay? So now let's talk about the process, okay? Now, um, and let me say also, Lee, that I happen to uh, download <clears throat> two uh, schedules online. One is for is a maintenance checklist for the 830 slash 910 presses. This could be a, a little starting point. And then another one that I downloaded is maintenance checklist for the 2200 press, okay? which is a little bit more comprehensive, it's about eight pages. And uh, it's very similar to my thought process here, and so, so this can serve as a template to start with that you can gradually refine over time and develop a really good checklist, okay? So now, number one, the first thing you need to do is uh, uh, identify the press modules, okay? So, for example, <clears throat> on the Mark Andy uh, ch checklists, they have them both the same, yes. They have this. They have module. Then they have action. And then they have frequency. Okay. So the first part of this process is to start off by identifying the modules or the sections of the press that you're go then going to subdivide further and say and start to uh, uh, work with that section. For example, on their maintenance checklist here, the, the first thing they talk about is the web guide, okay? And I'm going to put that here though. Because for example, the way that I would start this uh, process is I might say the unwind section is the first thing because I think that one way to, to go through and start off with a good set of points is to just start from where you start, your substrate starts, to where it ends and it starts at the unwind. So the first thing we might do is start to look at the unwind section, right? The unwind section. And what are some things you might, you might look at there? You might look at the condition of the chuck, the condition of the air bladder. You might check to make sure that there are no leaks. You might inspect it for burrs. You might inspect your brake and make sure that your brake is in good condition. You might inspect the hose or the wires running to that brake. And so on and so on and so forth. You can break each one of these modules down into subdivisions. For example, uh, and here are some quick modules that I have over here. Unwind, web guiding, the print stations, the die stations, the drive train, your idlers, your nip rollers, your dryers, etc. Okay? All of those things could be modules that you're then going to subdivide further as inspection points. All right? All right. So now, once you've identified and laid out a few modules here that you're going to, going to do, and again, you can use this form as a guideline. Uh, you're going to identify the task or action that you want to uh, uh, do for that under that particular module. For example, on the online, you might say inspect bladder for leaks, right? And so on and so on and so forth. You're going to identify the tasks that you perform at each one of those modules. 